Hello YouTube and welcome to another PFSense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure PF Broker NG on PFSense. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, why do you need to install actually the PF Broker NG? So actually PF Broker NG is a powerful way to enhance your security I mean your network security but also your privacy and performance so it provides advanced blocking capabilities and reduces exposure to threats and optimized network traffic in addition to that PF Blocker NG is easy to use and to manage so if you are using a PFSense PF Broker NG is a must-have addition for a safer and more efficient network. So the first thing that we're gonna do if, is of course to install this package. But before that, if you take a look at the firewall menu here on your PFSense, you will notice there is no menu associated with PF Blocker NG. But soon as we install this package, new menu will be added related to PF Blocker NG. So, as I told you, let's install the package first. So, to install the package, of course, you go to your system menu here and you look for package manager. Here we go. And of course, you go to your available packages here and you input pf blocker and you hit search so normally you will get two packages pf blocker ng and pf blocker ng devel so i always install the next one which means pf blocker ng devel because it's the next generation of pf blocker ng as you can see on the description okay so let's install this package and see what we get so of course we have to confirm that so i will confirm and packy now is ready to be installed and of course we will wait for the process to finish Okay, so finally we have a success, which means that our package has been installed successfully, okay? So now if I go to the menu, the previous menu of firewall, you will see that a new menu has been added called PF Blocker NG. But before that, let's take a look at the rules on our firewall. So you see here for the LAN, nothing special has been added and also for our LAN interface nothing has changed there are the default not the default but some custom rules that I have actually added but soon as we will play with the PF blocker a new line will be added here okay so let's return to our uh, PF blocker menu and see what we can do with it so I will click here on this uh, menu under the firewall pf blocker ng so we will be presented by a kind of wizard so welcome to pf blocker ng this wizard will configure an entry level configuration of pf blocker ng for ip and dns block list or dns pl okay so let's just hit next here so this is here just a caution before proceeding the pf blocker wizard will configure a default setup for pf blocker ng so we'll go next and of course here we have to select the inbound interface which is usually the one interface as you can see here 
and we select also the outbound firewall interface which is our LAN interface okay so I will go next and here we need what we call a DNSPL web server configuration so it has chosen this address here and this port here so we can leave that as a default if you want so we go next and finally this is the final step all you have to do is to actually hit button finish and we are done you can see now that I have the other menu has appeared on the PF broker ng so we have the general menu here and the default now is that the PF blocker ng is enabled we have an IP here so we'll take a look at that we have DNSBL menu we have an update menu which is very important I will tell you why we have a report here and of course here we have feeds where we can choose the categories to block we have also log and sync okay okay but before to proceed let's now take a look at our firewall rules and see if some, something has changed so if I go to the menu firewall and let's check our rules so you can see on the one interface nothing has changed but on the lane interface a new line has been added you can see here the destination is pf blocker primary one v4 so this line has been added by pf blocker ng and most of the configuration you will set up on your pf blocker ng will be actually added here okay so this is the rule that I told you that has been added it contains actually a bunch of IP addresses that will be actually blocked or rejected depending on the configuration that you have done on your PF blocker okay so let's return back to our uh, actually PF blocker ng and in the general tab here we have some uh, defaults normally you don't have to touch anything because the defaults are pretty good you so this is the enable button for PF blocker ng so if you want to disable it all you have to do is to uncheck this mark here the cap setting enable is also enabled by default here and the current setting here okay also there are some log settings but I guess the default are pretty good so we don't have to do much here okay so as you can see there are a lot of uh, things that you can do here but here I will just show you the most important thing that you can configure so for example if you go to your IP here there is geo IP sub manual so here actually you can deny access to certain region in the world so if you don't want for example traffic to go to Asia or uh, Japan for example you can enable that so by default it's disabled but you can enable that so your actually client will not reach IPs on this countries or actually continent okay but here also you need for that uh, you need what we call a MaxMind uh, license key okay which is actually a subscription to this website will provide you information about IPs and location of IP addresses okay but for us we'll be focusing on the feeds menu here which is the most important Thing. so this feed tab actually contains a collection of predefined feeds or IP addresses ranged into allies names and groups okay so by default you will see some uh, feeds that are checked which means that are active okay 
So this uh, categories contains actually IP addresses that will be actually rejected from our LAN interface. Okay. So here, for example, you can see there is CINS army list. There is abuse SSL blacklist also. So it's a huge list where you can add any list that you want that contains actually malicious or spamware or something like that. Okay. So when you see this check mark here, it means this list is active. And with TE, when there is a plus, it means this list is not yet configured. But just for testing purposes, we'll be adding uh, another list. For example, we can just uh, deny access to a specific list. So let me see here, there is a huge list. For example, let's say that we want to add this spam cop which is on the category mail. So as you can see here, so spam cop. So let's click on this button here to add this field to the list of fields that are blocked. So if I click on it, new info tab for IPv4 has been displayed. So this is the mail, it's the description that will up here actually on our firewall rules so we'll see that later but here the most important setting that you have to set up is the state so by default the state is off so you have to make it on in order to work with this feed or to block actually this field so I will just hit here on okay so this is really important to do whenever you add feed to your list and also here the action so there are a lot of actions that you can choose from but normally we will deny the outbound okay so keep in mind to not forget these two things the state which should be actually on and also the action is to deny the outbound here is the update frequency, so you can leave that as a default for every hour or weekly on. Normally, you don't have to change that. There are also some advanced inbound firewall rules, like you can add, for example, this destination port or the destination uh, protocol if you want. But for us, we'll just keep these two things here. So let's save this IPv4 settings. And now, as you can see, our feed has been added to the list of feeds. Okay. So if I click on feeds, and if I go now to the spam category, you can see now this check mark has been added. And we can actually confirm that on the firewall rules. So let's go to the menu firewall rules. And for the LAN interface, we don't have actually yet the line corresponding to this rule because we have to do a very important also thing to not to forget is to actually reload the service. So PFSense requires that you reload or restart actually the service PF blocker NG in order to make the changes so I will go to firewall PF broker ng and for that there is specific uh, menu also called update so whenever you make an action on PF blocker you have to do that you have to force the reload of all the rules okay so I will just hit this run button here in order to make the changes active and we will wait for the process to finish as always so it's very important do not forget that so now the update process ended which means everything is okay and the feed that actually we have added is now active okay so let's now go to our firewall and rules 
and here we go as you can see now a new line has been added and the name as you can see here is the pf blocker mail which correspond to the spam list that that we have just added okay and of course if you hover over this line you will see the list of ip addresses that has been added or actually downloaded from this site here in order to block access to to them okay this is actually the list okay so once again do not forget to update actually the rules or the settings whenever you make changes to pf blocker you have to go to update and reload them in order to make the changes active okay so i think this is this is it so now you can play with the feed of list you can add the one that you need whenever you have some actually settings that you want to make okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to install and configure pf blocker ng so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.